Our second half highlights, they are brought to you by Avera Orthopedics. And it was a 14-0 game, Dakota State at halftime with Jamin Aaron. He had more than 100 yards. He got them back on this first possession of the yeah, third Dakota quarter. Yeah, Dakota Wesleyan looked like a whole new team. And then this touchdown pass, back corner, beautiful pass to Keel Nelson. Missed the two-pointer. It was 14-12, but then the ensuing kickoff to Marion Foster to the house. And, and this was just demoralizing to Dakota Wesleyan. You could just see Dakota State just wake up and all of a sudden they had control of the game again. They missed the extra point though, so it was still an eight point game, but then a bad snap on a punt led to this short field, another Tice Ortman touchdown. Keel Nelson got them back to within one possession again. But again, bad snap. They're gonna have to take a look at that. That safety gives the final margin of victory, 10 points, 29-19. And then late here, you're close to making it a one possession game with a minute to go and just a fourth throw by Austin Lee. Yeah, and at least just trying to make a play. The biggest key was, the special teams in the second half was really the difference of Dakota Wesleyan having a chance to win this game. Well, some interesting final numbers. If you remember, Dakota State was seven of nine in the first half on third down. They did not have a third down conversion in the second half. And again, there are two touchdowns, one special teams, one on a three yard short field. So offensively, Dakota State not as impressive in the second half. Credit to the Tiger defense. And then the offense just couldn't make enough plays and special teams cost them yeah, as well. Yeah, and, and I think Brooks is is a, a okay quarterback, but when Ortman is funneling the offense, Brooks is a good quarterback because everything funnels around Ortman. He's got to be the catalyst of their offense, build off of that, and then Brooks will do some good things. Likewise, for the Dakota Wesleyan offense, Aaron is the key, Keel Nelson is a playmaker, Lee's got to know that these are the guys I got to get the ball to. Well, look at Tice Orpin's stat line at the bottom. 18 carries, 63 yards, and a rushing touchdown. The 73-yard receiving touchdown. So 136 all-purpose yards and two scores. Well, and it's, you hit it right on the head during the game. I, I, it was like he was getting stronger as that second half was playing out. 